Greetings and welcome back to Voxel Tycoon. I'm Catherine of Sky, and today's episode is brought to you by the letter E. Yes, Emma and Eleonora wish to thank everyone for uh, patronage on Patreon, especially <laughs> the, the the one that gives them extra cat treats. No, it's 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 a great help in your support to me. Thank you so very much for everyone who patronizes, watches all the things and all the stuff. And uh, I am trying to raise my cats right, so I wanted to to tell them to wish you thank you. Yes, we're going to go with that. So anyway, in any case, we have trains going like wild. I do feel like I need to change this whole area because it is very, very interesting. Um, it is very interesting, isn't it? It's really interesting. <laughs> it's a bit crazy, I think. I wonder if I need to have like multiple lines going into this station or maybe, maybe the solution is to have two different entrances to the station. Uh, and so that um, trains can kind of like one section goes into one uh, part of it and the other goes into the other. Because we're having some issues here, I think with the signaling. Let's see what we got going on. These are regular signals. That's a regular signal. This is regular, regular, regular there. It just feels like it's going very slow to get these uh, trains going on. Now you'll notice I'm running the game at quite high speed and that's because I really want to get some money to, to go to Copperland because at the moment our research is going a bit slow. Uh, concrete production is only at 15 of 100 and that's mostly because we've been ha having the game paused as we've been building stuff. So we need to run the game a bit so that we actually get stuff that is needed uh, to go there. Um, but we can try to think about what we want to do here. So let's see, train 14 has not earned money. Okay, why not? I don't get this. There's money there. There's money there. Confusion. Okay, that's not a thing then. <clears throat> now, how is this business doing? They've got 54 days left. I wanna, I'll see what else spawns in there instead. Now, uh, we did, I did notice one thing as I was looking over the map before I started the game uh, or started the recording. Look what we have. We have concrete beams are demanded. This is great. Um, except we can't make them yet because we don't have the research, but it's exciting. One of the things we might think about doing right now, though, is to actually make more stuff. As in, maybe we want to make more iron plates or make more uh, of these wooden beams. Because these demands are yellow or red, and that's not ideal. I think, I think it might be a good thing to kind of beef that up just a tiny bit. Uh, because we do have the production. We have full... Uh, storages in most cases. Wow, look at this. And I think w w part of the issue is I think we need to upgrade these trucks to something better. So let's see what we can do here. Let's start with maybe the, the uh, plates. Let's do that. Let's look at plates. Let's do it. All the plate stuff. Where are these plates coming in? Nakajochus Northeast. Er. Those are wood beams. These are the plates. Okay, so these are iron plates. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take each of these three guys. I'll go ahead and... Oh, I, I'm so used to pausing stuff. Yeah. There we go. Send them all there. And then what I'm going to do is I think what we can do is just do this kind of thing. Um, let's see. Change this. Switch your... Can I... Replace. Yeah, there we go. And these are plates, right? Let's do any cargo plates. Yeah, there we go. 11 is a lot. That's nice. Let's buy these. Apply changes. Yes. And then I'm just going to apply all of them. So that's the big green one. Whoopsies, not that. Okay, I'm not used to doing this, but it's fine. We will learn. We learn the things. Yes. Oops, not the right thingy. There we go. Okay, big green truck, go. Okay, release all. So this, with the bigger capacity, is actually going to increase the amount that's delivered, of course. 
Uh, so that's going to work a lot better. Now, Eleonora Iron Ore has like a Kabillion truck serving it. So I feel like that may need to be changed fixed. So some of them are going to Nacogdoches Southeast and some to Plainview. Really? To Plainview? Seriously? Huh. That's kind of far. I think that that should be replaced by a train route instead. Do we have iron ore coming in here? No, of course not, because we are silly and we did not do... <laughs> We're doing trucks to this location. That's fun. Right. Okay, so that's not ideal. Okay, so I'm going to get an iron ore train coming out here. That's just absolutely silly. That's super silly. Okay, so is this an iron ore train? Hello. Okay, train 14. You are an iron ore thingy-majingy and go to the depot and copy train 14 for half a million dollars, which is a lot of money. Okay, what we want you to do is... Ah, huh, I one of the things that I wish that I'm not sure if I should do this or not do this is the whole like have a route from a place to a place because this we already have a route from Eleonora to here but it's iron parts or it's something else so yeah that's kind of a, a weird thing let's see but I guess what we'll do is we will oh I shouldn't have copied the locomotive crap no oh the holy fuzzy cats would be disappointed apologies um, all right, I guess what we can do is we can change the engine. I do want to change it to be a faster uh, thing. We could also have better, better cars. So this was a really bad purchase because we now have all of these beautiful cars. Uh, all right, so it's fine. We'll, we'll deal. Let's see. The cars that we have... Um, it doesn't look like they have a speed limit, so that's nice. So we can get the fastest engine we can, which is the GS4. But I'm wondering if we should just go with 100 miles an hour or 100 kilometers an hour speed limit on these. Let's go with the M62. Uh, I think that would be sufficient. And then I want to replace these with the other cars. We're going to replace with, let's see, these are iron ore. Wow, open car two. Jeez, 23. I think we're going to delete some of these, like half of them. Let's see. Oh, that one didn't get replaced. Okay, that's fun. Okay, so this is several cars. So we're going to do this. We're going to do this. 122 meters long. It's going to hold a heck of a lot of ore. Okay, and then we're going to change the schedule. That's important. Edit, unlink uh save because well no this goes it does go on a different route than the other but i could have copied an eleanor transfer one okay so we're gonna save this as yep yeah, good i love that the naming scheme is so useful i like that it's so nice all right so now we have added an extra thing so eleanora iron ore we want to get rid of all of these trucks to plain view these are gonna go bye bye where is the depot? It is there. Oh, we have backups at the world there. That's not good. At the research, I know. No, no. Oh, don't do this to me. No, that's not good. Okay, we can't handle this. No, nigh. <laughs> the nigh is real. Do not. Oh, no. All right, let's go back to our depot, wherever that went. The garage. Go there, please. There. And we're actually going to delete that entire thing. And then we need to get uh, the other things set up. Actually, we'll delete those in a second. And then here, these are going to Plainview Southwest. Okay. So let's see. Let's just get uh, new trucks. All right. So we can't unload anything here yet. We actually need to build a warehouse. So I'm going to pause the game for now. We're going to delete some stuff probably both of these buildings yes okay and build ourselves a a freight station oh i guess freight station two nice we're getting all the nice upgraded things now this is great and then of course a warehouse to collect this fun stuff we'll put that there yes good and then we're gonna extend our road a tiny bit for stuff 
No, night. Careful. Do not disappoint the Catherine. Okay, this is going to be iron ore. So we're going to call this plain view iron ore. Okay, and then this one, I forgot what's stored here. These are steel bars. Okay, so let's change that one. God, I love this UI. Like, you just click. There's, there's no, like, separate pencil mark or something. It's just, you just click on the name and you can change it. I love this. It's just so intuitive, this UI. It's great. It's really great. I think also we probably need to change these other trains and just completely refit them to carry better things. I don't know what the running cost of that train is going to be, but we can compare it uh, to the exact train we copied it from and see if it's a bit better. Let's, we should check that out actually. Alrighty, so that is something. Okay, we need to go to garage again and we're going to buy trucks. Uh, they take, tw these car carry five. So one truck replaces almost five which is crazy good. Okay, so Plainview Southwest. How are we doing at this building? Okay, we can store a lot. This is an upgraded building, so I'm gonna buy two trucks, I think. Uh, let's see, iron ore. Excuse me, thank you, autosave. Okay, so this one, oh, we don't have those big trucks, apparently. Can only carry 11, oh no, <laughs> oh no. Uh, all right, do, is there more road vehicle lands? Okay, we did get rails three, that's nice. Hmm. No, there's nothing. Okay, sad times. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn off this lab since it's not needed. Concrete production, they are waiting for materials. Okay, rail cars are done as well. Okay, so that's what we got for trucks. Okay, so apparently they can't hold 25. They can only hold 11, uh, which is okay as well. Let's just uh, get that going. I, I mean, it makes sense. You can't really hold that many. Well, it is in tons, right? Or is it in boxes or something? Okay, so let's do this by... So this will replace two of them, but then they have a very long distance to go. So I want to change... We're gonna uh, change the schedule here of this thing. We're gonna go to Iron Ore, to Plainview Southwest. This is one of our earliest routes. But then we're gonna edit this to go to here instead of Eleanor Iron Ore. Say okay. And this would have been fine, but these guys all, I guess I could refit one of those uh, or two. So that, that would be fine, I guess. Okay, so you go. And then you guys go as well. Let's just, we can, we can reconfigure two of them maybe. Because it's quite a short trip here. Uh, from the, the, the station out, out down there. So that's fine. So let's just reconfigure you and replace with this one I think. Yep. Apply changes and go. And the rest, oops. There we go. Go. And then the rest of these I just want to trash. Yeah. Just sell these guys. Just want to be very careful when clicking, not to click off my new one. There we go. Beautiful. It would be nice to... I wonder if you can mass replace something. If you know a way to mass replace stuff, do let me know. Because I'm kind of curious about that now. So this is a full... or getting full warehouse. 172 items it holds. That's quite nice. That's very good. Okay, so then... Coal, let's see what's what's going on in Plainview Land. Let's find out. Coal is is under underutilized. Okay. There is still some in the warehouse, but the trucks here just aren't up to snuff. So I'm gonna send those back to the garage. All of them. Let's see. You know what I could do is I could send every single truck back to the garage. That might be useful. I don't know. There is a way, apparently, to send all. Let's see. Let's go do that. Let's figure out what's going on with this research. Okay, this iron bars are not needed anymore, I think. So these guys uh, send those back to the garage as well. Steel bars. Um, what are we researching? I think we're just researching the concrete, right? I think so. I think that's what we're doing. Yeah, just concrete. So these other trucks can also go back. 
Maybe we can repurpose them to something else since they look like the bigger trucks. I could be wrong though. So go there, uh, go there. Oh, and these wood trucks. How much wood could a wood truck truck? They can truck very little. That's the answer to that question. Um, but we can maybe replace some of those. Let's see. There is a way. Let's let's look at this vehicle thingamajingy. We can maybe... Oh my god. Oh my god. You can assign routes or ascend to depot. Oh, how happy our days are today. Okay. So let's see. Let's go the wood trucks. Let's just figure that one out. Wood to Sumter South. All of these guys definitely need to go to depot. Oh, this is so nice. Wood to Nacogdoches transfer. Yes. There we go. Okay. And that seems good. Sure. Also, I want to replace our bus. The bus doesn't make a lot of money, but we can upgrade it. Maybe it will make more money. <laughs> we can always try. Okay, so let's send those out for now. And then coal. Coal is probably another one that can be definitely replaced. Yep. Okay, so send to depot. That seems good. Sending them all to here. Now, we don't want to keep them waiting too long because that's not convenient. Okay, so let's see. Steel bar to research. This is an old truck, so we're just going to sell sell this one yes okay and these are this is just an old truck for research okay coal to plain view west where the heck is that ah that's this one that we wanted to change okay good so let's change that let's do a switcheroo for coal okay that's going to be another 11 so let's just apply that change and then same with this one now this is where i would really really like to have like a mass replace kind of thing or select and upgrade to something that would be nice because right now this is very tedious this is a tedious part of this which and i say that with with the fondest of of um i don't know sentiments because <laughs> this game is really great and so much care has been taken in the ui that this feels kind of like an oversight like huh can we you know, I really want to replace, you know, many of these things and I can't do it right now. So let's see. Wood to Nacogdoches. Let's see. Wood to Sumter South. Okay. This is where we need to kind of figure out where is this going? Okay. Sumter is here. Sumter South is there. They're going kind of red. They're unhappy people. So what I'm going to do, I think, is we have one, two, three, four, five. Yes, we have five of them. Are there any more appearing? Let's see. We can release some of these guys. Cool. Cool. Okay. This one, uh, I should have, um, yeah, saved that one for other things. Okay. Let's replace you. Um, let's see. We can figure as a better bus, a new look bus or a victory mark two. Yes. Let's go. You can be released. Go. Okay, so Wood to Sumter South, there are many trucks there. I think we can delete two of them. Let's just delete two. Okay, and then delete two of these Wood to Nacogdoches as well. And then we'll replace the rest. So here is where I would love to see some kind of interface thing. Maybe there is. Can we, like, hold on. Let's see. They are Wood to Sumter South. Oh, let's sort by route again. Wood. Oh. Wood frame. No. Wood beam. Wood plank. Wood beams. Okay. Wood to. Okay. So these are in the depot. Can I? No. It's either assign route or send to depot. That's annoying. Huh. That's a little bit annoying. Hmm. All right. Well, we can fix this. It, it'll be fine. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Let's just do them one by one then. Mm. All right, change the thing. Replace with, let's see, wood. Which ones are wood? So we get 11 with the LP1620. All right, so we're gonna just try to do this quickly. LP1620, where is that? Okay, it's right here. There we go. 
this is this is something that annoys me greatly actually the idea of wait was the other one called lp1620 the whole like this disappearing thing i hate that i hate when the ui hides stuff from you it just annoys the fuzz off of me ah there are many lp1620s okay great that's very helpful thank you game why are they all named the same oi that's funky anyway but that that kind of like confuses my brain a bit it's like okay where is it where do i click because if i'm just here it's like okay apply what you know just the wood thing you actually have to mouse over it to find that and that is one of my biggest pet peeves of you know so-called modern design where like they do that in web development a lot as well and it's like where is that damn option i can't see it anywhere because I feel like you'd have to just like scroll your cursor over the entire screen to figure out where the option is, you know? And that, that to me is not efficient. I just want to look at the screen with my eyes. I can move my eyeballs quite a bit faster than the mouse pointer. And I feel like I can find the option a lot easier if given the chance. So I'm hoping that that trend goes away because it's horrendous. It's just bad. Bad, 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 bad. Okay. Uh, like one of the examples that I love to talk about is um, I had this program that was a graphics program and I knew what I wanted to do in the program. It was like apply a drop shadow or something like that. And I couldn't find it for the life of me. And it was because I didn't have a certain other menu item selected. So it didn't even gray it out. It just was gone. It just didn't even exist anymore. And I was like, what the heck is this kind of design? It's just bad. So anyway, I don't know. I, I don't like that kind of trend. It's extremely annoying to me um, because it's not very efficient, I find, at all. Okay, let's see. Release. I, I need to do something with that truck. I might just sell it because I would like to do the release all thing here. Okay, so these trucks should go a bit faster, I think, as well. Um, yeah. And let's see, there are other trucks here that need to be improved. There's a steel bar truck. Where are you going? You are research. Why are you going to research? <laughs> all right, did we not get all of, we might, uh, it was probably, yeah, it was probably just, yeah, it was probably a straggler that was actually at its station, not at the research waiting. Sorry for the rant, by the way. That's just one of the things that's like, oh my god, why are you doing this to me? Um, and it's, I don't know why it's such a trend. I don't get it. I Maybe it's just lack of space. Like, people think there's not enough space in the UI, but I don't know. I just find it really annoying and unpleasant. So, okay, let's see about the, um, hmm. We want to look at, let's look at our roots again and see basically what what things that we need to fix here. So let's see, we do have two more buses. That's fun. I wasn't aware that we had more buses. I, I thought we only had one route's worth. That's funny. Uh, all right, let's see. These are old trucks. Let's sort by route again. Um, Yeah, these are all old, old. I think these might be old as well. It's kind of like, hmm. Also, I'm wondering about some of these trucks, like whether they're in the wrong place. Actually, I should pause the game because I don't know. Steel bars to plain view? Oh, they might be in plain view. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's see. Wood to Longmont. That's fine. Those are the bigger trucks. Coal to Sumter Heating Plant. Can I click that? Let's see seven okay so that one needs to be fixed as well so these need to be fixed these also yeah all of those let's see these guys are they five yeah those are the old ones as well okay it looks like we have all of them almost these are seven okay so these are not either these are the big ones they look big one they look like big ones okay we're gonna send these to a depot which is gonna be here and we might have to resend some of them to the correct depot 
because I'm thinking that I've messed some of this up. Like Longmont stuff? Yeah, Longmont uh, trucks are going to be very unhappy with this whole arrangement here. <laughs> Alright, so let's let them all go into their things. Ah yes, coal to Longmont West. Hmm, yeah, we need to move those guys over. Okay, let's fix those first and we'll send them to Longmont instead. Okay, let's fix you. You need to be a different kind of truck. Okay, this is taking coal, so the blue one. Supply changes, and we're gonna say... Uh, go, but then move you to here. Yes, that's what we want to do. I'm gonna sell this one, I think, and then change it to this one, so we can use that one up. Uh, so this one, we're gonna change this guy to coal to Longmont West. Coal, coal, coal. There we go. And then go. And then depot. And you go, because you're out now. There we go. And this one is going to be there as well. Okay, steel bar to research. That can be deleted. Coal to Cleveland Annex. Where the heck is Cleveland Annex? Ah, yes, that's in Cleveland. Hmm. <laughs> which also has another separate depot. Yes. All right, we need to fix that for sure. Let's just go at speed one here for now. Let's see, where is our depot? There it is, there's the garage. I shouldn't call it a depot. I guess, well, maybe it is a truck depot because I've heard that term used before as well. Okay, these guys, oh, no, cancel. Oh, apparently you can only configure one at a time. One at a time here. This is coal. Okay, apply changes. And we need to go. And then transfer here. And then let's just do these guys. Uh, coal. There we go. Yes, apply. Go. go. And then transfer. Hello? Uh, not yet, apparently. Hello? Why is this one not going out? Game is not paused. Hello? Okay, where's where's things happening? It's not coming out. No! What happened? Something else is in the way? Or... How do I fix this? This is bad. No? Can I... Oh dear. Oh no. Oh dear. Huh. It's there. I can't move it now. Oh no. Oh, this is bad. Okay. Um, Let's send it to a different thing. Sure. Wood to Sumter South. Yeah, go ahead. This is going to be Coal to Cleveland Annex. Oh my god, it's stuck. Ugh. No. Oh no. I can't click anything. I can't even resend it to the depot. Oh, this is a disaster. Shoot, what do I do about this? This could potentially be game breaking right now. Well, it is game breaking actually, because I have all of these vehicles in here and I know that I cannot delete that garage uh, until all of the stuff is out of there. What do I do about this? Hmm. I think, oh, what do I do about this? Uh, let's see. What we could try to do is put another, another garage down and then replace all of these vehicles. Oh, that's a pain though, isn't it? I, okay. Okay. It's, it's fine. Can we sort these? Oh, this would be great if we could sort them. Let's see. Why did I click release all? That was not a good idea. This one is still not going. That's not good. Can I release all? No? Okay, that one is definitely stuck. What a, another lovely thing I would love to see here is like a sort by root thing in here because we now have issues with this. This is a very bad problem. Uh all right. So, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to actually screenshot this. 
Um, wait, is that car 41? Wait, which one is this? Oh, oh. Maybe we're okay? Did it work? Oh my god. Car 47. Maybe it was just waiting for that one. Okay, maybe there was no problem here. So this is Cole to Cleveland. Annex. Okay. Let's see if that was the issue. If that one was just moving. Okay. Oh my gosh. I thought I thought we had major issues there. Okay, so this is good. So it was just waiting for the other one to go to the depot. Okay, so this is the Cleveland one. So we're gonna leave those there. Uh and here we have another one. Let's see. Change this one. Coal. Coal, coal, coal. There we go. Apply changes. Yes. And go. And then we'll wait for that one to go. So these are the glass pane ones. I guess we'll just... We might as well just upgrade all of them. Let's see. What, what does this upgrade into? Like how much cargo is this going to carry? 11. Yeah, I think that's just a straight upgrade. Uh, okay, so you go... That one is in depot. It's just taking a while or something. No, maybe. No, because these are all still waiting. All right. Well, let's just keep on trucking here. Literally trucking. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's see. Which one was it again? I forgot. It was the box. Yeah, the green box. All right. Gotcha. You can go. Um, this one also green box. You can go. Yes. Go, go, go. Okay, now we're having the same issue again. Um, hmm. Fun. Yay, fun. Wood frame to Sumter. Okay. I'm gonna switch you out. Let's go get wood frames. Barn doors, in other words. Wood planks, wow. Why is this one not going again? Okay, here we go. I'm lost. That took quite a while. I wonder if it's because it's on speed one. Maybe it takes a very long time to um, to switch things around or to, to go to the depot. I'm thinking that's what it is. It just takes a very long time. There you go. Wood planks. Oh, this is going to be great. Let's see, wood planks. We are here, I think, right? Yep. State car, makes sense. Okay, you fix, oh yeah, look at this. This magic depot thing is just, sometimes I wish that they wouldn't like magically go, that they would actually drive in. That was a thing in um, Railroad Tycoon. But then again, it was also, okay, you gotta wait for it to get there and it's such a pain and all this stuff. So it was like, eh. No. Don't know. Maybe it's not so not not bad after all. It's something weird when you think about nostalgia like that or like too much realism. Because sometimes it can actually ruin a game to have too much um too much of the thing. And it's like, you know, <laughs> it's not actually that useful. So yeah. I know someone wrote to me about having more realism with trains where they wanted to see trains like, well, like in the US, sometimes they're over a mile long and that's quite a long train, very long. And, um, but you know, in the simulation, they are really, really long. Look at this. This like covers miles of countryside, you know, the buildings are a bit bigger than they should be. But I mean, if you think about how like, you know, far the towns are. I feel like they are really, really long. And in this game, I really like that you can make them quite, quite long. Like there's no, um, yeah, there's, it's, it's a long, long train. Like other games, like I remember Railroad Tycoon, they always had a limit of eight cars and I was like, oh no, but I want more. <laughs> I want more. So yeah, the greed for the cars is a thing. Let's see. Let's fix you. Oh, seven. Okay, let's see. Glass thingies. All right, glass thingies is a big box truck. Let's 
let's see, more glass thingies. Okay, maybe I, I will just do the rest and then change them afterwards. Okay, so this is another coal truck. Yeah, this is a tiny bit tedious. Just a tiny, tiny bit tedious. So I'm hoping the developers uh, got feedback on that. If um, if you would like to see that change, I encourage you to write to to them about this kind of an issue, so that we can. Um, so maybe they'll change this and enable us to um, to to have more uh, a better UI with this particular process. As in be able to click many trucks and upgrade to a certain thing. Okay, these are the flatbeds. All right, there we go. The flatbed. There we go. Yay, box truck. There we go. Flatbed. All right. Yeah, because that or replace all on a specific route with one. Uh, something like that, where it would be like multiple replacements at a time. I'm finding it really kind of awesome that the UI is so great right now. Um, just a couple of little tweaks would be just wow. The wow is real. Because when you have a big factory like this, this is a pain. This is really a pain to, to do all of this. Okay, so let's release them. And you guys, you can go. Let's see, anything else in Garage 3? Yes, let's release those. I also want to check on Longmont and make sure that we released all of those trucks. Yes, we did. Okay, so let's see. There is, ha, huh, there's some, yeah, Car 37. Are you delivering wood to Longmont by any chance? Hmm, yeah, all right. Let's put you back over here. In this depot. Yep, there we go. So we'll go there. We'll put it on speed three so we can get these guys going. Of course, the huh, our money is now down to zero again, which is not the ideal. <clears throat> and definitely not the ideal that we wanted to have. Because we intended to open up the Copper Territory just recently. But we spent quite a lot of money here. All right, good. So those are ready. So this is all there. We do have this. Okay, we get, we're get we getting the stone blocks coming in. That's nice. I think I would like to send this this train. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we can definitely use train upgraded here. One of the things actually that might help us is upgrading these trains as well. These guys that are all like really long and and just completely, completely blocking tracks here. Maybe making them shorter would help us a tiny bit. Okay, so let's see. These two guys, let's go ahead and upgrade these trains as well. So let's see, reconfigure this one. Uh, we're going to actually replace this engine with the M62 because of course power. So this has probably... What do we say? Around 15 times 5. It's approximately 15. Some of the engines are longer or shorter. So 15 times 5 is 75 steel bars. So we need to change that. Let's see. Let's, let's delete them all or delete most of them. Actually, let's leave four. Okay, let's delete these. And then we're going to replace these with steel bars. Okay, these hold 15 each, so we can basically reduce it by a third. But we also wanna build a little bit more uh, product, so we're gonna do eight. So let's apply those changes, and you can go. So let's fix this one now. I'm gonna replace the engine first with the M62. And then I think it's probably gonna be the same, so let's see, we wanted one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight. I, th I assume they're going to be the same. Um, these are what? Stone blocks? Yeah, stone blocks. So replace with stone blocks. Yep, same kind of deal. And then let's go and get the rest of these tiny cars and we're going to delete those. 
Okay. Half a million dollars. There we are. Okay, we now have trains zipping around. I think this train... You know what? I'm going to send this one. Has this made any money ever? It has made $360 last month. Great. You know, we're going to send this to the depot, and I think we can replace it with a better train. Um, concrete production research is complete. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, so what I want to do is send that train, stone train. Do we need any more stone here, by the way? Let's find out. Okay, so this research is that. What else do we need? Probably we just want to do copper smelting next, but I'm just going to turn this off for now. Uh, we do not need this train any longer, so I'm going to send this, this train. We're going to send that back to the depot. There we go. Send back to the depot. Great. And we desperately need copper. That is one thing we definitely need here. Oh, coal is going green. This is good. So basically we're going to be making more money with all of these new trucks. Wow. 1.9 million, almost 2 million there. And the loan interest is 12,000. Look at that. It's tiny amounts. It's tiny, tiny amounts. It's not even worth caring about. Anyway, um, in other games, it is definitely worth caring about. And usually I min max that to be like, oh my God, I have 25,000. Let's pay this off. Let's just do the thing. Look at all these industries going green. Woo, this is great. All right. So let's see. Hopefully, we're going to get some production problems soon. I'm really looking forward to that. Let's see. Wood planks. Have we upgraded the wood plank trucks yet? Or wood beams? No, we have not. Oh, no. Okay. Let's let's fix that. <clears throat> we need to get that done. All right. Let's see. The wood beams. Let's see. Wood beams to somewhere. Sure, Nacogdoches. Let's go with that. Let's send all these guys back to their depot. See here, you can actually filter it by route. So there's no reason why you shouldn't have like a replace all option on this. Okay, so you guys go over there, please. They're earning money. That's good. Ah, yes, we were going to check and see. Is this, this is the iron ore train. And we've been running a couple of months at least. We just want to look at the stats here. Uh, there we go. Iron ore, this one. Yeah. I want to see the thingy. Wow, the running costs are so much uh, less for lots of more cargo. That's pretty cool. That's really good. Of course, the money, yeah, the money earned is within the last month. But the running costs seem to be pretty decent. Wow. Oh, yeah, there we go. Little bars. That's nice. Ah, oh, these trucks are going in. Everything is working nicely. Do we have shortages yet? Where are they? We need shortages. Oh, iron parts might be short. Hello. Yes, they're getting less and less. Nice. We need more production. Excellent. Okay, so let's make more production. I want to build more. I want to build things. I think we'll build a little bit of everything here. Let's build, let's see, factories. We need presses. So that's these. One, two, three. Sure, we'll just go for broke on this. It'll be fine. There we go. Three. Excellent. Train 10. Ah, yes. Is that, wait, why? Hello? Why has train 10 not earned money? Hello? Coal? It's full. Uh, do you not accept coal anymore? What's going on? This is awful. Why? Oh, is it because of the... Why? Why? Oh, what's this one doing here? Really? Oh my gosh. Okay, apparently I didn't change the... Yeah, that was that one delivering iron bars. That's not good at all. That's bad. Okay, I'm glad they notified us of that. So let's see, that one should be going into the depot presently. Here we go. We need to go into here to actually change it back to coal and clear the contents, of course. All right, so that should fix things. Good, good. Nice. And then we need, wow, we need more stone blocks here. 
need to get that one coming. So anyway, the the upgraded rail cars are very good. I guess, you know, someone asked me the other day about, you know, what what should you go for first and is it required to go for stone first? Obviously, we didn't go for stone first, but I think it's really useful. I think it really is very very useful. I would agree with with usefulness there. Uh, okay, so let's get plates and more plates and more plates and these are uh, parts bolts and such and things there we go all right and then conveyor belts Hooray. all right and then take these this way good okay one thing please so it needs to be square to square not square to conveyor belts that's interesting to square square to square okay and then we'll get these flipped around correctly all right so hopefully this will give us a nice shortage of I oh no they're backing up again oh no <laughs> uh, also someone told me did I, I don't remember if I said this in the last episode but apparently one day equals 30 seconds so if these things are making one every 30 seconds that is yeah that's how long a day is so when these guys say what so what do they say here demand is let's see seven items from storage every day so you'd need seven factories making glass uh, to support that one place which i don't know if that is actually implemented in game because i don't think we have seven glass things and that place is quite happy no we don't and they're backed up like crazy here so i don't know what that's all about don't know not sure okay oh nakado just wants copper wire we need research okay so what is this one? Oh yes logs hmm yeah, we should replace some of these train cars as well. Oh, we now have money. All right. So you know what? I'm going to leave the money where it is right now. And um, we're going to... Uh, let's actually look at our money. How much are we making now? 2.1 million so far last month. So it looks like the improvements are really uh, kind of taking hold, getting us a little bit more money, kind of increasing the... Um, the profitability of all these industries and allowing them to grow and allowing the towns to grow as well so anyway i hope you have enjoyed this episode and um yeah i guess we're going to continue to upgrade our trains but we're also most importantly going to get a um you know open up that copper region so anyway i look forward to seeing you in the next episode take care of yourselves and each other and i'll see you next time <laughs>